Hello everyone, this is the Tenda CP3 Pro Pan and Tilt Security Wireless Camera. In this video, I'm going to show you what comes in the box and then I'm going to be talking about its most important specifications. I'm going to show you how to set it up, but most importantly, I'll be testing it for you. So let's start by showing you what's in the box. Let's open it up. So this is everything you have in the box. You have the camera, a mounting pattern, a mounting plate with screws, and also you have the power adapter and some documentation. The most important specifications of the CP3 Pro are that it has a Wi-Fi 6 connection and also it has a lens that is f2.0 3 megapixels which amounts to around 2K. It has night vision also. And for the detection, it has a smart detection. So it can detect humans and pets and also it can detect cry detection which is very good to monitor your baby. And it has two voice calling, it has an alarm and also it slants, tilts and pans. So horizontally it can go 360 degrees and this is all controlled by the smart detection and by the application. And vertically it can go up 90 degrees and it can go down 65 degrees. So now let's insert the TF card and set it up. Let me show you how to insert the TF card in the camera. You need to bring the lens up like this and you will see the TF card slot and this is a reset button. To insert the TF card, slide it in like this and then push it in, it will click in place. Let's set up the security camera now and let's start by removing the protective film from the lens. And then you need to power it up, so plug it in the power adapter that came with it and the camera powers on. Now you need to install the Tenda security app on your smart device, whether it is iOS or it is Android. So in the app store, here I have an iPhone, I'm going to go to Tenda security and then search for it and here it is tdsee so i'm gonna tap on get and once the application is installed tap on open and tap on allow on everything and then tap on start tap on agree after you read the agreement and here you need to choose your country so i'm in canada i'm gonna choose canada and here you need to create an account with tenda so that you can manage the camera using tenda's cloud so when you have this screen, you need to scan the QR code that is on the bottom of the device. So this is what I'm going to do now. So it scanned the QR code. And then here you need to select that the device is powered on because this is the case. And then tap add. And here it will ask you if the indicator is blinking rapid blue. This is the case. So I'm going to select that it is yes blinking and then tap on next. It will ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi network here. So it will detect the Wi-Fi network automatically. And here it's saying that it only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So this here is my Wi-Fi 5G network. I'm going to change it. I'm going to connect my smartphone to the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz band and then come back and finish the setup. So I'm going to tap on this arrow here to change it. And let's go back to the Tenda security app. And here put the password for the Wi-Fi 2.4 G network. And when you put the password, tap on return and then tap on next. Here it will ask you to scan this QR code with the camera. So this is how you do it. Put the telephone like 15 to 25 centimeters from the camera and let it do its job. Connecting. Please wait. So this is a prompt here that it will tell you, did you hear the prompt? So yes, I'm going to tap on I have heard the prompt. Router connection succeeded. And it says that the router connection has succeeded, which is good. So let's wait for it now to add the device to the application. Configuration is completed. Welcome to Tenda Camera. So when you hear this prompt saying that the configuration is completed, tap on OK. And this is the camera now you need to tap here. So this is the SD card because if the SD card is formatted in a format that the camera doesn't understand or if it's new, you need to format it. So I'm going to tap on format. Of course, make sure that you're using an SD card that you don't need the data on when you format the SD card. So this is a picture from the camera. I'm going to bring the angle a little bit up so that you can see me. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to go through the most important settings in the application. So when you open the application, you have this view here in front of you. So here you have the settings on the top right, tap on it. And then in the settings, the first thing you need to do is to arrange the time zone because the time zone, it will take it UTC by default. So scroll until you find time zone. Here it is. And then here, choose your time zone. I'm going to choose my time zone. That is the Eastern time. 
and now when you save videos you have the correct timing on the video the second thing you need to do here is to activate wide dynamic range which is wdr it is on the top here so it will give you a better picture quality and there are many settings i'm not gonna go through all the settings otherwise this video will be too long let me show you just the alarm settings here so you have alarm here tap on it and the alarm you can activate for instance human tracking if you activate it and now if i move the camera will move with me and then here also you can activate cry detection if you have a baby you're monitoring a baby and also if you have pets that you want to like detect also you can activate it i'm not gonna activate pets here so now i'm gonna move so to show you how the camera will move with me so this is supposed to move so i'm gonna move see how the camera turned with me so this is a human detection it's fairly accurate i still want to show you one thing under settings and this is the cloud storage so here if you go to settings you have the cloud storage it is unsubscribed now you can subscribe to it you get three months free and you have all these plans to subscribe if you want to subscribe to it the footage you're seeing now is with the lights turned on so this is the quality of the picture it's okay and the sound that you're hearing is also from the microphone of the camera so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna turn the lights off and then we're gonna let the camera switch automatically to infrared night vision and we're gonna test the picture quality in night vision after i turned off the lights the camera switched automatically to infrared night vision and this is the quality of the picture it is okay and the sound that you're hearing is still from the microphone of the camera the last thing i want to show you in this camera is how to perform a one touch call from the camera to the smartphone where the application is installed so i'm going to turn the camera here so that you see it you have this button here on the camera if you press on it you need to press and hold it will call you so now it is calling me on my phone so now let me tell you what i like and what i don't like in this security camera from tanda i like the fact that you have a full package at a very attractive price so this makes this camera a very good value it has pan and tilt it has night vision it has smart alert and also it has like two-way calling and one touch button calling and crying like detection for your baby which is really very good now what i don't like about it is that you need to subscribe to the cloud so to put your video footage in the cloud tenda will give you a three months free subscription on its cloud but after the three months you need to subscribe there are no free plans even for 24 hours now the second thing that i don't like about it is that the smart detection for it you cannot like put a location so if you enable smart detection and each time you go in front of the camera it will trigger an alarm so you can't for instance say that the camera will know my location and when it detects my location the alarm will be turned off you need to turn it off manually now apart from these two things i really like this camera and i highly recommend it if you want to check it out i'm gonna leave an amazon affiliate link in the description below if you make a purchase using my link i will gain a small percentage but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel if you like this video please share it subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video